there friends, it is me HL Montech and I am back with the Ender 3. I had a user point out that I mentioned once using pause and swap filament and it really was more of a video about other issues. So here we go with the pause and swap filament tutorial. What we're going to do is we're going to make a keychain where it's got a bottom layer that's one color and then the words will be a second color. So now that I've got it explained, let's move to Tinkercad and get the project started. Alright, so first things first, this is Tankercad, and when you get here to sign up, make sure you use that social providers. It is the easiest way to get in. We are going to create a new design, and Tankercad is awesome. It is like drag and drop. Since we're getting close to Valentine's, I am going to make a Valentine's heart keychain, which is super easy and also pretty useful for the holidays. So bring out your heart. And then one of the amazing things is if you hold shift, it scales everything in the same direction. I want my heart to be somewhere in the 40 millimeter range. I want it to be two millimeters thick. So I just click on this white one, click this number type two and press enter. Of course, you really pick the filament color when you print it, but I wanna make this red just so it looks right from the get go. I'm gonna click on this fit view so it zooms in and I'm gonna use the cube, the view cube to get a corner view just cause it's kinda neat. And I want you to know where those things are. I'm also gonna put the work plane on top so that my letters show up on top of my heart. I could add text using this tool, but I wanna use a fancy one that you can find under all shapes and it's called script. Simply move down, find the second choice and that is where it's located. I also always want this to be easy to find, so I made it a favorite of mine by clicking this little star. I'm going to add the text ring just because it's useful as well. So now that I've got a bit of text, I'm going to put the word love on it. So when you type love, it changes to the word love. Pick how thick you want it to be as well. I'm going to do two millimeters, and then I'm going to simply use the black handles to squeeze it into place. Just move it up with my mouse, switch to that corner view, make sure that's where I'm going to want it. I want it to be a little smaller. I'm going to make it look white just because it looks cool. And then I want to cut a hole out of this so that it can be like a keychain. So now that my keychain looks nice, I want to cut a hole through it. So I'm going to click W for work plane and go back to the normal work plane, which means I just click on these outside edges. And now I want to cut a hole with the cylinder tool. This cylinder is a hole, not a solid. It's that easy to switch them. And then I'm going to hold shift and make this five millimeters thick because that's the size I like my holes to be. I'm going to use the arrow keys to just nudge this into place. I'm going to switch to the top view and make sure it's really where I want it. And when I'm happy, I'm going to nudge this just a little bit as well because it was close on that edge. When I'm happy with the project, I'm gonna group it as one big cool keychain. Now notice my colors go away, but that's all right because I've got to pick those on the printer. If you really want to see the colors, you can hit multicolor, so at least it looks awesome. With it built, I'm gonna name it Heart, and then I'm also gonna hit Export as an STL. And then I'm gonna put this in my Dropbox 3D modeling and I'm going to call it heart, keychain, and I'm going to put my uh, initials after it, MDH. Now it's time to go to Kira and push this out to an SD card so I can print it on the Ender 3. All right, so here I am in Kira, and I'm going to load my file once again. It is stored in that 3D modeling folder, so let's track that down. I like having them on my Dropbox because that way they follow me to school, and I can use them when I need them quickly sort by date and there is my heart keychain I like to print up in this corner I've just got standard settings which I use at three millimeters check my temperatures those are all groovy I like to print with a squirt five lines distance of 10 shows down here it's gonna take 14 minutes and I need to save it to my removable drive so it's saved as CR10 heart keychain. I'm gonna eject that. Before I move to the printer, I wanna take a look quickly at the layer view. Uh, notice there are 
13 layers and on layer 7 you can see that's where the words start showing up so of the 14 minutes I've probably got about seven before I have to hit that pause and switch colors. So I'm going to take a cell phone and I'm going to set a timer because I don't want to stand by it for all 14 minutes, but I do want to move back and switch it so I get two colors on my keychain. All right, so we have now moved over to the Ender 3, and I'm simply scrolling down, doing print from SD, refreshing because that card is in there, and let's launch that heart. I've already got it pretty much preheated, so this should start pretty fast. I'm going to grab my little timer phone, and I'm going to set it so that it's on 7 minutes, so that I'm here for when it starts doing the words, and we can change that filament using the pause filament trick. Alright, so now I'm watching closely. That alarm just went off, and I'm waiting to see where it's going to start doing the letters. You can tell it's still doing the skin of the top of that heart. And then as soon as it does do the letters, I'm going to go back to the controls over there and find that pause option. Alright, so you need to eyeball it, and I can still tell that it's going across the edge, so I still need to wait another moment. So I'm going to just be patient while this all comes together. Alright, so we have switched to letters. I'm going to just scroll down and do pause, print. You can see it started to do the L and the O. I am going to, at this point, push my filament in to extrude a little bit of extra filament. And then I'm just going to pull it out. It zips out nice and easy. I'm going to remove the green filament. I'm going to grab my blue filament. Would have been so much cooler if I would have had uh, pink, red, white, something like that. But I don't. At least not at home. So, I've got my filament clipped. Make sure I put it on the right direction. And then follow the same steps to simply slide it in. The extruder. And continue the print. There you see the filament coming through. One of my next projects is to pr uh, print the feed knob that lets you feed manually. But I like pushing like this because it goes through there pretty darn quick. I'm going to extrude a little bit down at the bottom. Sorry to put my hand in front here, but it gives me a better grip. I have got blue filament coming out so at this point I can come back to the control and do resume print so that we end up with our sweet blue letters Alrighty friends, so here we have our dual color keychain using a single color extruder thanks to that nifty little pause button that they put on the control panel. Friends, if you found this useful, please mash that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button. Friends, if you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. And if you want to be the first to know when I make a new movie, hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.